You don't mean it. Now, where's this spot? Uh, not much further. This is the place. Some beautiful smallmouth here. Bass? Sure. This strip of shore looks perfect. Pick a spot. Uh, it's a little close, ain't it? Seeing lots of bluegill and bass over here. Bait with worms or crickets. If you got them. Otherwise, maybe some bread or cheese. You get many bites there, O'Driscoll? I ain't an O'Driscoll. I told you fellas a hundred times. I'd only been with him a couple of months. I was just a runner, helping out with the horses mainly. Bottom rung of the ladder. And to think that was the high point of your career. Comb goes through men like cigars. They ain't like you folks. You barely knew my name. I'm more Kieran Vanderlyn than Kieran O'Driscoll at this point. Honest to God. Mostly I'm, I'm Kieran Duffy. I hate to break it to you. But I ain't sure Karen Vanderlyn is gonna stick. Keep it coming, but carefully. Nice. Good catch, Arthur. Now, see if you can hook another. So, you think Dutch trusts me now? <laughs> That's a good one. What? Not in the slightest, my friend. I can't win. I promised loyalty, he says, but you wasn't loyal to Comb. If I say I ain't got no allegiance to nobody, he says, how do I know you won't turn on us then? I don't know what you want to hear. I'm trying hard to feel sorry for you, but somehow I, I just can't manage to. What in the world? Arthur, are you seeing this? The feather's naked as a jaybird. Is that why you like this spot? My lord. There's somebody in this hey, confession. Hey, watch the line! Oh, hey! I nearly gulped down a minnow. Sorry, fellas. Didn't see you there. Why don't you take a break? Come on in. The water's wonderful. I reckon we'll leave you to it. Just don't scare all the fish. Oh, just so you fellers know, there's some real big ones over that way, like this. Well, I better keep the blood pumping. Hope you gents catch something. Yeah? Maybe we'll take a look. Thanks. I know where that is. Oh, come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. Hey, wait up! No need for that! Don't tell me you changed your mind.
I think this is the place that naked feller was talking about. Did you see that amazing bluegill? Sure. That got you real excited, huh? Come on, Arthur. Let, let's walk down to the beach. I hope we land this monster. Uh-huh. It ain't easy to catch a fish like that with bread and cheese, but uh, you never know. We might get lucky. Guess we'll see. Get after that bluegill, Arthur. So who taught you how to fish? My pappy, mostly. I, I lost my mammy and pappy when I was young to cholera. Your mammy? Like I said, I was real young. After that, I was on my own pretty much, but I knew horses and fishing. Well, uh, just think now you'll never be alone again. Did you hook him, the big one? I don't know. Uh, don't feel like much of a fighter. Not bad, but uh, it ain't the one we saw jump out of the water. See? Look at this. Life ain't so bad. At least you ain't tied to a tree. I'm still a prisoner, Arthur. I can't step outside camp by myself for a second without being terrified of one of Combs' boys gonna come pick me up. When I'm in camp, I got Bill and Sadie whispering in my ear all the time. They're gonna kill me in my sleep. It's like living in a nightmare. Christ. If I'd known you were gonna moan this much, I'd have never have said yes to this. He feels big. No, that's not it. much chance we need better bait you might want to see if the stores around here sell anything better i think i'm gonna head back to camp arthur if that's okay sure go on i'll see you later for coming fishing with me. We should do that again sometime. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Well, good talking to you.
Ah, you're back. Oh, okay, sorry. I just assumed you couldn't read. Okay. Done. Get the latest all right here. Anything else? I should friend. Goodbye. Hey there, friend. How can I help you? Thank you for your help. Thank you. Absent traveler returns. Now, how can I ease your troubles? That's yours. No. Y'all in here chawing? Well, we out there fighting. Settle down, fella. Loonies. Sunday Southern, I can scarce. You're in my spot. Now get! Oh, there ain't no cause, no more. Don't pretend otherwise. Damn fools. No one wants you here. Move along. Okay. We ain't looking for your company. You don't leave, I'll make you leave. That's simple. Guess you want a piece. Why can't you raiders leave it at the door? Please, fellas. At least hit the proper. Let's see if we can't climb some sense into you. I'm a raider. Boy, I kill like it's breathing. You're harmless. You'll die for that, you son of a bitch. I don't know which of you. It can't be. Sissy. Enemies of the morn deserve no mercy. Got nothing. There's some lead with your name on it. God, no! Oh my God! <laughs> Wasting my time. Help 
me! That's it. Let's try this out. This is too much. Ladies? I don't hey, know folks. If that's right. Someone else. I left the house looking like that. Okay, there. Morning, Morning, sir. Looking for Gavin. He's my best friend. He left me. I lost him. I mean, I lost him. Someone must have seen an Englishman. <laughs> really funny he is. <laughs> Morning. Listen, have you seen... I'm looking for my friend, Gavin. I don't know any Gavins, I'm afraid. English bloke. Lovely fella. He went missing, and uh, now I'm all alone. Good luck. That's, uh, that's too bad. Gavin! I'm on the clock here. Well, we're at your destination. Thanks for that. Good luck to you. Yeah. Keep it moving. Better get this box. What's the matter with you? Move! Give me, please, help me. Please, you, yes, please, coin, please. Go get yourself please. something to eat. A coin? Sir, I want you to have this. Thanks, friend. It's nice to give something instead of just begging. Right here. Oh, you out of jail already? Money so like much for tough justice. Groveling here in the dirt.
still have to find a way around that white wall law just to bring my aunt here? This place is going to be more dangerous. with sir <laughs> can I catch you on another break? Juan de Mesia. Heard you wound up in a cell. <laughs> Surprised they let you out so soon. So, what do you have for me? George had to shoot one. Thanks for your assistance. Better out here than caged with the pigs, no? Please look around. Much to see. I have quite the skills, if you have the right ingredients. You have a distinctive palette. Hmm, sure, I'll take a look. Ah. I just hope nobody's missing this too much. Something in mind? All I need are the right materials. I trust nobody's missing this.
Back off or soon. Oops. Oh dear. Come on now, boy. for a trim got an idea of what you want fellers will be jealous of a part like this yes sir Doesn't even need washing to look good. That's, uh, looks pretty good. Looking sharper than attack. Trim and distinguish. That's the handlebar look. Now that isn't half bad, huh? Thank you. Looks okay. Ah, suits you. Hmm, I say you look ready for a portrait now. Starting over fresh, yeah, good choice. That's pretty decent. Mighty fine if I do say so. All right, you're ready to go. Thanks. Okay, fella. Be there.
damn way. Hey, watch it. Hello, come on in. Now, let me just look in here. That is a local favorite. I want to vote. I insist that I deserve the right to vote. All right then, but if there was anything in there that caught your eye, it'll be right here waiting for you. I get all sorts walking into this establishment, but they all end up looking better when they walk out. Now, what's going on in here? I want to vote. I insist that I deserve the right to vote. Now these coats are sturdy and they look great. Perfect for a week in the woods or a night on the town. It'll keep you warm and looking your best. Well, you won't know for sure until you try it on. People around here come in just for those. But I'm sure you'll look good in anything you choose.
Come now, don't doubt yourself. That looks excellent on you. What color speaks to you? Make this country a democracy. Stop disqualifying half the population. We are women. We deserve the right to vote as much as you. People say us tailors all sound the same, but I find that rather offensive. That is a local place. That's it for now. Let me vote. Let me vote. Let Let me know what I can do to help you leave here feeling good and looking great. Now, let me see. People around here come in just for those. There are a few colors you can go with for this one. Are you feeling good? Because you're looking great. And that should be good. Thanks, partner.
what do you want, boy? This here the gray plantation? Yep. Caliga Hall. And that Sheriff's orders. He wanted me to have a word with some folk on the property. I'm recently deputized, you see. Deputized? And I suppose Lee was drunk when he did it? Look, you can come in, but you ain't talking with me. Obliged. Hey, uh, I was hoping you'd talk a moment. I'm a student of the history of the region, and, uh... I ain't the one to speak to. Try Master Bo. Think he's down there by the wood store. Boy's got all the time in the world. Huh. I'll see you at the sheriff's office. Excuse me, friend. We friends? Not yet, but he is hoping. I guess. We don't get a lot of traveling men here, and suddenly there's a whole phalanx of mysterious but strangely helpful Yankees about the place. Is there? What are you doing here? I was just looking for work. Well, looking for something. Don't worry, your secret's safe with me. What secret? I got a secret of my own. Are you secretly normal? Excuse me? Never mind. The thing is, I don't care if you kill the whole lot of us and the Braithwaites. I don't want to kill anyone. I love her, you know. Love who? Penelope. But it's impossible. Well, love tends to be complicated. She's a Braithwaite. I'm Bo Gray, son of Tavish Gray, nephew of Lee Gray, the sheriff, grandson of old Murdo Gray. We Greys have been loyal to the state and murderers to the Braithwaites for so long now, no one can even quite explain why. Beyond blind loyalty and stupidity, I'm supposed to be loyal to some nonsense while she... She's amazing. She's like a woman from the future. She's like tomorrow, if tomorrow turns out fine. Well, I'm sorry for your predicament. Would you help? I don't want to get involved. <laughs> Gang feuds. Seems unseemly. I'll pay. I've got money. We Greys, we've always got money. No brains mine, but money. Well, in that case... I know she loves to sit out in the gazebo on the edge of the Braithwaite property. Take her this letter and this bracelet. Please. Oh, look out for their guards. They're worse with strangers than our guards. So long, and good luck. Oh, look out for their guards. They're worse with strangers than ours.
Are you Penelope Braithwaite? Why, yes, I am. I've got a letter for you. Oh. And a gift. <laughs> a letter and a gift. Well, we don't even know each other. <laughs> well, <laughs> it's not from me. It's from, uh... From Bo. <gasps> oh, he is so... Strange? <laughs> yes, he's a little strange, but also so human. The rest of our families are stuck in the dark ages or... Well, I don't know, cave people, perhaps. Bo's different. But if they find out, they'll kill him and send me to live someplace awful, like Ohio. Have you ever been to Ohio, sir? No. Well, neither have I, but my uncle has a factory there. He was sort of the black sheep on account of having left. But now they tolerate him because he's a vicious snob. Families are, are, there's something else. <laughs> you got a family, sir? No, not really. Well, they tolerate him because of the money. But me, with my ideas above my station, they can't stand. That sounds pretty complicated. I, I don't know quite what to say. Well, nothing to say, except I hope they all rot. I don't, uh, well, maybe a bit, but here. If you see Bo again, will you give this to him? Sure. in the dark you'll see light from up higher yeah
Nothing that can surprise me no more. Look, you best be on your way. Calm down. Oh. <laughs> Yes? Can I help you? Hey! Ah, oh, ah! Gah. Hello, chum. Chum? Do you want an autograph? Or a photograph? I'm sorry? People often get nervous, but there's really no need to. I I'm just a, just a normal guy who, well, happens to be very famous. Okay. Who are you? Jeremy Gill! Who? The famous fisherman. I've written a lot of books. I'm in the newspaper all the time. Here's one from the New Hanover Gazette from a few years back. And this is a book I wrote. Huh? I wrote it. Good for you. You really don't know who I am? Ah. Oh, well. <sighs> nice to meet you. You too. Arthur. Sure you don't want a photo? Uh, not right now. Oh. You know, mothers, they often offer me... They're daughters. Just for a photograph? <laughs> no! To marry! But I say no. I'm married to the fish. Huh. So, you're famous for fishing? Very. And that pays well? Uh, pretty well. What I mostly do is send fans stuffed fish. Stuffed fish? Yeah. Here, let me show you. Come with me. <laughs> and you're selling these? Yes. How many do you want? If you get three, we could do a photograph. Together, like actual friends. No, I'm fine. It's it's sort of ridiculous. Listen, jump. People love it. And I could sell even more fish if I had them. <laughs> it helps them to know that out there, there's some man fighting with Neptune on a daily basis and winning. Okay. But I can't catch enough of them. And there's really good money in this. I fish a little. You do? Well, in that case... Send them to me. Uh, of course, uh, not if they're too rotten. Do you like that bass? I'd sell this for $50. I'd give you 15 Send you fish. Ooh, my card and a map. Well, maybe I shall. <laughs> Only the decent ones. They have to be at
least 24 inches in length and 10 pounds in weight. No one wants to imagine Jeremy Gill catching a tiddler. There's no money in tiddlers. So I hear. You keep moving. Began to tumble and roar. The face was as red as a lobster. I fell oh, no and broke no. my poor knobster. While I watched she was picked. something bad. <laughs> Kane. His name is Kane. Okay. Hey, Kane. <laughs> uh, well, <laughs> what did Kane do? A real bad thing. So he never stopped wandering. Arthur, a dog, a dog.
What do you think of the place? I don't know. So far, it seems okay, I guess. I think that there is rich pickings for some carpetbaggers like us. <laughs> is that what we are, is it? Avenging your father's death after 30 years? There's gold, Arthur. Gold. If you say so.